Hello again. Now I would like to give an overview of the critical issues forum project and the teachers uh, workshop. We are conducting the online teachers workshop this week and the following two weeks. And I believe that you have already seen the draft agenda. And if there is any changes, I will email you. There will be about 12 sessions, including the content lectures, students assignment instructions, explanations of expected goals and outcomes of the project, and a brief explanation of the spring conference. After the workshop, each school will work toward the spring conference, which will be held at the end of March. There will be one session specifically for the spring student conference at the end of the workshop, so I will not go into the details now. So now let me give you the overview of the online workshop. As you see, we are conducting this uh, online workshop, uh, of course, fully online. And I think many of you are watching the recorded versions. All the uh, presentations, video recordings will be posted on the Critical Research Forum uh, website. And some participants are unable to join us due to time differences or schedule conflicts and will view the recorded lectures. And this is fully understandable since we have participants from around the world, from different time zones. Video recordings will be available after we conclude each session and we try to post the video recordings and PowerPoint presentations as soon as possible. And uh, uh, I will also send you the link to those uh, video recordings. So in addition to the video recordings, uh, we also post the presentations and other uh, resources, useful materials. You can use it uh, along with the video lectures. So we are going to start the first lecture uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. Pacific time. But again, if there is any change to the schedule, I will let you know via email. And each lecture will be about 50 to 60 minutes, followed by a question and answer session. So as I mentioned at the beginning, at uh, in the introduction, you will be muted upon joining the conference, but when you would like to ask any question after the lecture, uh, you will be unmuted. But uh, it might be better to use the uh, written instant chat, chat function, because this should be easy to control. Also, in order to avoid any technical complication, please wait until the end of each presentation to ask your questions. However, if you have any technical problems, please write it in the chat space during the session. We have several content lectures, including scientific aspects of nuclear weapons world nuclear status, nuclear non-proliferation regimes, and some specific nuclear risks, threats, and challenges. As you have heard um, in Ms. Elena Sokova's um, welcome remarks, there are so many uh, nuclear challenges currently. So we are going to cover the major nuclear challenges in, in the lectures. But of course, uh, there will be more challenges. So I would also like to encourage each participant to conduct research to find any additional challenges that may not be covered in the uh, online lectures. Also, in addition to these content lectures, we are going to have a 
language and a presentation training sessions on a research methodology, citation, and how to make effective presentations. We also have a sessions to discuss the spring conference, the spring conference dates and the students' presentations and more specific information. And also I will have a one session to explain what students are expected to complete before the spring conference. So I would like to encourage each of you to carefully review the agenda. And all of the listed timings are California time. So please make sure to convert it to your time zone. Also, I know the timing is not too convenient for many participants. Also, I understand that uh, this is very busy time for all the teachers. But I would like to encourage uh, all of you to try to join the live session so that uh, you will have opportunity to ask uh, questions to the lecturers directly. But uh, again, if you cannot attend uh, uh, sessions uh, simultaneously, please do not worry too much. You can watch the videos later, and if you have any question after you have watched the uh, recorded lectures, you can always uh, send your questions to me, and uh, I will also direct uh, your questions to each speaker so that uh, we can <clears throat> address your questions. So, for example, as you have seen in the agenda, Tomorrow, we are going to have a nuclear weapons from a lecture on the scientific aspect of nuclear weapons. So what are nuclear weapons and effects of the use from scientific perspectives? Then um, on Wednesday, we will have a nuclear weapons in today's world. In this lecture, you will learn what the current nuclear weapons status, which country possess nuclear weapons, and how many, and how did we get here, and some future prospect. Then we would also like to give a lecture on an introduction to the nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament regimes. Then next week, we are going to give a lecture on more specific topics such as US-Soviet or Russian nuclear arms reduction and overview and the challenges. Ms. Elena Sokova mentioned current challenges, such as US uh, declaration to withdraw from the INF Treaty and uh, President Trump's uh, nuclear posture review. And um, we also covered Iran nuclear issues and a joint comprehensive plan of action, so-called JCPOA or Iran nuclear deals. This is also a very important issue in nuclear non-proliferation. And of course, we cannot forget about North Korea, North Korea's nuclear and missile program and what the current challenge is and some future prospect. Although we have witnessed some positive development in terms of uh, North Korea and South Korea and North Korea and the United States, but it is fair to say that uh, what is going to happen in North Korea's nuclear weapon is quite uncertain. So we definitely need to study the North Korea nuclear issues and uh, we also try to cover some current uh, status of the nuclear weapons ban treaty. This is a topic that we studied last year. So it's been one year and uh, what the current status of the nuclear disarmament diplomacy and in this divided world, there are many different opinions. 
Some people say that the nuclear weapons ban treaty is contributing to a more safer world, but some opponents of the nuclear weapons ban treaty said the nuclear weapons ban treaty completely ignored current nuclear threats. So it is really um, up to each student to have um, their own opinion, but uh, it is very important to investigate you know, what's the current status and why you think it is, uh, for example, nuclear weapons ban treaty is not contributing to a safer world or vice versa. So it looks like um, currently uh, you are watching the video uh, recorded version. So if you have uh, any questions regarding uh, today's session, please uh, feel free to email me. Otherwise, I would like to conclude today's session and we are going to come back tomorrow, Tuesday, 1 p.m. California time. The first lecture will be Scientific Aspect of Nuclear Weapons by Dr. Ferenc darnock -Beresh. So thank you very much for your participation for today's opening session. So I look forward to working with each of, each of you. So thank you. See you very soon.